Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Earthbound Blind. In the last episode, we fought a tent. Not only that, but we used the hint system to figure out what we were supposed to be doing in the game, and we found out that we need to go sleep in the hotel for a night. In this episode, we're going to be sleeping in the hotel for a night to see if anything happens, and that's a lot of money to stay in a hotel. Oh, what the heck is going on here? It's all the zombies. Oh, yes, that place is now available. Oh, they're going into the tent because we put down the, uh, the zombie paper on the ground, right? Ah, what a beautiful day. So, sir, you're working hard, even though you're young. The guest newspapers literally, okay, are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Boogie Tent Falls. Young human to blame. Why? Oh, because the zombies like that tent. It was probably a zombie-like tent. Actually, let me go to the ATM and take out some money. I don't have any money. Well, not a lot of money. 2400 uh, Let's take out 1400 That way we have some money in the, ca in, in the cash. We have some money in the ATM just in case, but we also have a lot of money out here to buy some stuff if we need to. Let's go visit the, the tent real quick before we head back to the graveyard to see if the zombies are in fact in here. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? <laughs> Kinda. We did it. Did you look in the tent? Yeah, we caught those. We taught those stupid zombies a lesson. Yes, you did. Yuck, we caught a lot of zombies. Ugh, ugh. It's really gross. Eh, just a little bit. Yuck, we caught a lot of zombies. Ugh, wait. You may not understand why I'm saying this, but my poor is... Oh. I can't read. I still need to learn how to read. Oh my goodness. Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else. I just want to save my own skin. You are an awful human being. Zombie paper really works, so I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say. <laughs> You're the enemy of all zombies. You monster. You humans are such cowards. You're the enemy of all zombies. Wait. Oh, they all say the same thing for the most part. I don't care if I pass away. Ha, I'm dead already. Uh, that's the truth. There's no response. Could, could you help me? Maybe not. Eh, probably not. And you're... Yeah, you're no responsive. <gasps> if I try to get away, my body would just fall apart. It's because I'm a zombie. Yeah, I'd figure as much. I'll blame you after my death. <laughs> I'll blame you for the rest of my life. <laughs> And just for the fact, we'll check out that zombie just to see if he says anything, but he didn't. So I believe at this point in time, we are all good to go to head to the graveyard. Um, do I want more bottle rockets? We have a bunch of broken stuff, though. I, eh, this ruler. Let me drop that. Uh, according to you guys, it, you, it was, it's kind of supposed to help with your, um, with your IQ or whatnot, but I don't think it's going to be totally useful, so I'll just fill up the extra inventory slot with an extra bottle rocket, just in case. And now I guess we're heading back to the graveyard once more, to see if, well, to see if we can go back to the area that's blocked off, which we probably can, so that is perfectly fine by me. And look at all these guys. Oh god, I don't want to fight any enemies. Well, at least from the back side! Oh god. Alright, we got through that fight pretty decent there, so let's go ahead and heal with Ness, since that is pretty much his main goal at this point, is to heal everybody. And now we're heading to the top of the graveyard to see if we can... Well, I've already said the same thing. No! I refuse. Actually, you know what? This would be a good fight to show off PSI Thunder. Apparently, it works better if you do it in, with multiple enemies in the fight, so... I guess we'll have to try that, see how well Thunder actually works. Oh, what damage. Wow, nice. So it works better if you have multiple enemies in the battle, which is nice. Alright, so I'm just going to hit you. You're weak to ice, I know that for a fact. And then we'll just hit you. We know this guy's weak to ice. And he goes down. And he's... Oh, this guy's still not dead. Just die. There we go, he went downtown, man. Ness needs to heal up real quick. So, let's go and do that. I would use PSI Beta, but I think I'm pretty good with Alpha for now. I'm not doing this. 
except it's gonna make me do this, right? Oh, haha! No back attack today, boy. And Paul's now level 18, speed by one, guts by one, max nature by three. Eh, the level up could have been. Oh my goodness! I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to do this. I'm scared of back attacks now. Holy crap! You know what? I was gonna cut this fight out, but I think I'm gonna show off PSI uh, uh, Rock and Beta to see what that does. Just to see how powerful it is. It costs a lot to use, and I probably shouldn't be using it, but I really want to see how good it is. Ooh, that's a ton of damage, though. Part of me wants to heal that up. But now, just level 17, HP by 2. Okay. You know, I think I'll be fine. But now we can finally go in here and see what is down here. Oof. Am I healed up already? Yeah, I'm... Oh, well. Jeff, I guess, could use a heal up, so let's do that. Alright, now we can go on through here. And we have all these ghosties. Are these the same ghosties we fought last time? Or are these different ghosties? The zombie possessor. That sounds different to me. Oh, don't possess me right now, dude. Yeah, I have a little mini ghost. To do oh, whoa, the tiny ghost does damage. Oh, boy. Can I heal that off? I don't even know. Oh, boy. Now I see, like, we have a little ghost here. Uh, is there anything in here? Ta-da! There's a skip sandwich deluxe inside. Yay. Moving on through here. This ghost, though, how long is it going to stay here? And can I heal it? Actually, you know what would be a good idea? To go to my stats. Er, yeah. And check out healing and see what it heals. Okay, so it doesn't heal exactly the the ghost. So I guess we're just going to have to let it follow me for... Oh, no! No, 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 no. I refuse to fight all those zombies. Or I can handle two. I don't think we fought these guys yet either. This is urban zombie that's cohort. All right, we can handle this. I would hope. Uh, I would assume these guys are weak to fire because things. All right, it missed. Good. All right, let's do some big damage to these zombies. Twenty-three damage to Paula. And yes. All right, we're gonna need some heals really badly here. Two damage to Jeff. Okay. And yes, the zombies went down. Not bad. Alright, cool. And let's heal again. Because everybody's taking all the damage and it's just a bad time. Alright, casket, what do you got for me? Ta-da! A silver bracelet inside. Yes, please. Please. Uh, who do I want to give that to? Who would need it more? I think Paula would, to be honest. And what does Paula have um, besides that? She has the... Oh, what was her equipment? Oh, she has the silver... No, she has the, the copper bracelet. Who? I'm getting confused here. Hold on. So, copper bracelet, silver bracelet. Alright, so everybody has a copper bracelet, so I don't think that's necessary to have any more. Oh, oh, back attack! Not bad! Not bad at all, so that's good. Alright, so let's hit you, fire on all of you, and then hit you. Okay, these guys are very resistant to fire. And the ghost went down, so that's good. I guess we'll just hit these guys normally. Oh, no! Oh, don't do this. Oh, don't do this. You stupid... Oh, jeez. Stop this. I mean, we killed the ghosts, but dang, now I'm possessed two ways, more than ways than one now. Oof. I think at this point, it's too late for me to go back and heal if I need to at this point. Oh, what the hell, dude? Alright, Jeff's at level 18, offense by one, IQ by one, maximum HP by one. Okay. So Jeff is not really doing well in terms of levels, but what the heck is that? Uh... I think Paula would need the healing the most. Georg, Georg! Since you had fly honey, I considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. Oh boy. The mini barf attacked. Alright, so... 
Who has the jar of fly honey? Let's hit you. Who has the jar of fly honey? You do. And wait. Oh, I wish I could see what it did before. Let's spy just to see what it does on this guy. No! Oh, God. Office by 45, speed is having a volume of fire. Oof, this could be dangerous. Alright, uh. Please use this fly, honey, and then we'll hit you. Alright, one damage to Paula. Didn't spell like anything she would like. Why? Oof. Wait, doesn't the fly, honey, not work on this guy? I thought it would. I'm so confused. Oof. Oh, God, please. All right, well, you're weak to fire, so let's do that, and then we'll just hit you. All right, that's good damage. That's good damage. All right. All right, I guess we'll just continue on this, uh, this trend here. Thank you. Yes, don't work on me. Thank you. No. I'm just gonna keep on doing the same old song and dance here because nothing I mean, this seems to work pretty well. Except when it does big damage like that. Oh my goodness. Uh, we need to heal. Heal Paula, like, immediately. Oh, what a smash, dude. Don't hit me. Okay, thank you. No. Ugh. Now everybody's just gotta bash this thing because it can't do anything else no oh, come on the one person I want that to hit it didn't hit dang oh there it is good Whew. 2500 nest level of 23 offense by one defense by one IQ by one luck by one maximum HP by one people by five and Paul's level 19 offense by one defense by one speed by one IQ by one luck by one maximum HP by one PP by four and she learned PSI fire beta Ooh. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. Cure, cure! Alright, wow, okay. That fight could have gone a lot worse, so I'm okay with this. And what the heck? Hello? You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? No, there's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? Uh, I don't need items. I need to heal, like, every... all of my stats. There's a village, village with many interesting people just ahead. You should go there and visit. I heard that the name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it can't be found on any map. Okay, so this place cannot be found on any map. So, I guess we're just gonna have frogs. What the heck is this? The armored frog! Look at that! Look at that thing! He looks so funny, dude! Look at him! He's so cute! And wow, I'm doing nothing. I do no damage to this guy. How am I supposed to do big damage? If I don't do big damage. No, come on, dude! No! Ugh, okay. Uh, let's try that again. And you know what, Jeff? You can use one bottle rocket to see how much damage that does normally. Stop using... Stop solidifying everybody! What? Dude, this frog's insane! This frog is literally the worst. Th this flo- th I- Why? No, I didn't- Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> I used a broken key machine. Th this feels like a boss fight, this is stupid. Just use the freaking bottle rocket! Thank you! Holy crap, why is that guy so strong? Jets level 19, offense by 1, defense by 2, guts by 1, IQ by 1, luck by 1, max VIP. Cool! That was completely crazy. I don't know if I should keep this going or if I should just end it. Anyway, present though. What do we get? A bomb inside? Nice. And I'll keep... God, I don't want to fight frogs. I don't want to fight flies or frogs or zombies! Oh, the red ant twin in its cohort. Okay, I can handle this, I hope. That stupid frog, though. I mean, seriously? Ah! I have, like, nothing I can do right now. <sighs> Bottle rocket on the stupid frog. No! Oh, this is so bad. 
Oh, the frog that- Oh, God! Oh, f crying out loud. I just want to kill everything, but I can't do anything! <sighs> oh, the stupid- Oh, my goodness. Everything is hurting me right now. Oof! Oh, God, this is bad. You know what? I'm running. Oh, I of course. Oh, my goodness. I can't do this. Not now. This is this can't happen right now. This Oh, God, Jeff is done. Stop hurting. Just let me run away. Thank you. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There's enemies. Oh, please. I need help. I need help really bad. And there we go. We went downtown. Oh, yes, that was a difficult... F oh my goodness gracious, that was terrible. Oh god, why? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for quite a while. His name is... Okay. Don't you think it would be a good time if you took a break? No. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world. At the, yeah. Oh, please tell me I, I still have at least my levels and my PSI. At least tell me I beat that freaking belch. Or that barf. Because that was disgusting. That was horrible. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to meet you guys in the beginning of the next episode and that one area that we just went to after beating the barf. I'm going to go to the hotel and heal up, and I think I will just be back at that area next time to be fully prepared, because I got wrecked by everything. I did not even have a chance to heal. So, next time on Earthbound Blind, we're going to continue on the path that we went to after defeating that barf, and see where it takes us. Those enemies are really freaking horrible, but we'll press on. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Earthbound Blind. Take care, everybody.